That iconic smile. Those watchful eyes. But this isn't the famous Mona Lisa. That's here in the Louvre, attracting millions to Paris every year. This controversial other portrait, so similar to Leonardo da Vinci's masterpiece, has long sparked intense debate. Is it just a copy or an earlier version finished by da Vinci himself? A new legal dispute over ownership of the mystery painting has reignited interest in its authenticity. It first surfaced more than a hundred years ago in an English country house and once even hung in a London apartment. They look so casual well, sitting then... under a Mona Lisa. Andrew Gilbert claims his grandfather purchased a 25% share of the painting in 1964 from a close friend. £4,000 for a share. Since then, the painting has been sold. But Andrew believes his family's claim still stands. Your grandfather could turn out to have been a pretty smart guy. <laughs> but was that deal for a real da Vinci? At a medieval monastery in Belgium, I'm hoping to find some answers. That is breathtaking. Yeah, that it's stunning. From Leonardo expert, Professor Jean-Pierre Isbutz, who has examined the Mona Lisa face to face. This painting was discovered in a Swiss vault. And the minute I saw this work, I was really blown away. It took me five minutes and I was convinced. Manuscripts and drawings from the time suggest there may well have been an earlier version of the Mona Lisa. The pigments used are the same that Leonardo used in the early 16th century in his workshop. And now he believes that this Last Supper too may be another lost Leonardo. And we took this image. Imaging technology reveals not only that this and the famous Milan versions match exactly, but also Leonardo's telltale brushwork. I think that of all the apostles that we see here, this was really painted by Leonardo himself. Leonardo, he says, frequently made two versions of his paintings. He made two versions of the version of the rocks, two versions of the version with the yarn winder. He made two versions of the Last Supper. He made two versions of the Last Supper. But Leonardo historian Professor Martin Kemp disagrees about the other Mona Lisa. What we see here are infrared images of the two pictures. He hasn't seen this Mona Lisa close up, but he says... Leonardo, we know, was a terrific fiddler with pictures. Kept changing, he could always see possibilities. And this is the other Mona Lisa. And this really doesn't have the changes which would identify Leonardo. Back in Paris at the Louvre, this blockbuster exhibition is the greatest ever display of Leonardo da Vinci's work. There are only 15 official da Vinci paintings in the world. Five of them are here. Maybe one day we will be able to discover new uh, paintings by uh, Leonardo. But confirming a new work by Leonardo is, well, tricky. There are still some other paintings which are still at the centre of a debate between specialists. There's so much riding on finding that painting. Is it difficult? Well, it's not easy. <laughs> it's not easy. Yeah. There's an understatement. OK, a little test then, okay. folks. Uh -huh. Let's yeah. show you both... Mona Lisa, oh, okay. Okay. and see if you can figure out which one is the real the Mona left. Lisa in the Louvre. Yeah, I, the I left. Go left the one yeah, on the left. left. You're right, the yeah. one on the left. Yeah. You can see in the background, uh, Leonardo finished that scene. That's the scene from the book of Genesis, they think. Yeah. On the right-hand side, the, the picture isn't completed, but they, the suggestion is that he didn't finish the work because he got pulled to other work, oh. but that it was his hand, his paint. Wow. On that you know what this person. proves? You've got the greatest job in the world. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it proves. Yeah, just travel Europe. My gosh. Artwork. All right. Cheers, <laughs> thanks, John.